All right, guys, welcome back to Tea and Stuff, but non-Zoom again, which I could not be more excited about. I'm back with my buddy Chris, who helped christen this podcast. Um, He's been off doing a million busy projects himself, um, and we were trying to find the best application to, to do another podcast, and then I thought, Asian snacks. Let's do Asian snacks. So there's lots of... Now there's lots of stuff being imported. There's lots of like snacks, snack options out there. Like you can go to Asia markets. That's where I got most of this stuff. Um, but we even had a store that just opened near us that literally just sells imported uh, snacks and stuff. So more of this stuff's becoming prevalent. And just as I was in the beginning of my journey, when I saw some of this stuff, I don't know what a yam yam is. I don't know what a pocky is. I don't know what it tastes like. You know, and, and, and the Western fear, like, oh, what's in it? You know, like kind of having that like freak out. Oh, I don't know what's in it. I I don't know what it tastes like, so I'm not going to – I don't know what the reputation is of it, so I'm just going to pass. But these – the ones that I picked, some of the ones I picked are more more common ones. So I wanted to kind of help break down some pretty easy-to-find ones if you are interested in tapping into Asian snacks. Um, Chris has tried a lot of these. I have only had a few, so, you know. This is gonna this is gonna work out well. So the stuff that we got on the table, and we'll do them kind of one snack at a time, except for like we'll do the pocky together and stuff yeah. like that, so that we're you know we're not stopping and starting every two seconds. But we have uh, uh we have pocky, we have yam yam, we have uh, imported Kit Kats, which are those have been the rage, like especially the matcha ones. They've been hot for a while now, yeah, but now we're starting to see more of the more varieties of the uh, import Kit Kats, and they're, they're some of them are really really cool. The, um, uh, I, we have Hai Chew, which is everybody <laughs> everybody describes it as what like a almost like a Starburst, an Asian Starburst kind but, of, but better. Okay, yeah, but better. Yeah. Um, we have a – this is a weird one. Uh, this is a Taiwanese Pepsi. Um, this is actually white peach oolong Pepsi, which is which is crazy, like That's really crazy. So, you know, we're going to sip that. Um, and, again, we're going to do one snack at a time. This is a very popular snack. Uh, you'll see these candies a lot at uh, – what do you like any, uh, Chinese any food Asian restaurants? Restaurant, usually, really. they'll uh, it's like their a lot of the places use it as like their after dinner mint type yeah. deal, but it's just it's delicious. Obviously, guava flavor, it's called guava candy. Um, and it's I'm telling you, they're really good. So, if you ever, I, I wanted to pick these specifically, I had to buy a big bag, but I wanted to show mm-hmm. these to people because. It's easy to go, oh, I don't know what that is. It's okay. I'm pretty full from dinner and pass by. But yep. these are really good. So if someone's offering you one of these for free, definitely grab it. And this last one is is cool. It's a sparkling watermelon drink. I think juice? I don't know. We'll look at it more when we're, when we're yeah. dissecting it. But I, as I was just trying to grab some more snacks, I saw this and I was like, this has watermelon this up sounds delicious to, yeah watermelon up so we'll see about that so like i said we're gonna get in uh we're gonna do one snack at a time do them in little segments and then i don't know we'll give our we'll give our cl- closing arguments yeah sound good yeah sounds great love, all right love it all right so for starters this is one that is pretty easy to find not necessarily every flavor but pocky is is pretty well known I know you can like at our Walmarts, you can find you can them. Find the basic ones. There's the, the basic ones like you can find. Sometimes and strawberry. Yeah, and sometimes strawberry. you can find everywhere. Those two are. Yeah, so these cool. two I saw, and so this one's all chocolate almond crunch, which is no, it says crush. Crush. Oh, I, so it's crushed almonds, but it's cool. I I like the name. <laughs> yeah. So that's fancy, fancy looking box, and these are chocolate banana. So that to me, yeah, I'm a banana amazing. guy. That sounds phenomenal. So, uh, which one do you want to crack into first? Um, 
whatever one you feel called to. <laughs> that I like. I, I kind of already I, anticipate what I know what this one looks like, which I feel it's going to be very good. Yeah. That one I have no idea. Oh, look at that! What's going to happen? So they oh, come in. Yeah. Wow, that's nice. They come in these nice little. Like there's another too. pouch in there so that yeah. it keeps it keeps it fresh i think so it's telling me to open this a certain way does it reseal or does it no it's telling me to so it opens here. oh wow okay okay oh okay and That's, then it's like a wow and then you put it in there and it stays fresh oh it's kind of like cigarettes some some engineering nope no cellophane all right let's give this a what yeah. so it's like a what is it like a cookie kind of like it's the stick? Yeah. Smells really good. Cookie stick, crushed almonds, milk chocolate. Mmm. I feel like all these that we're trying are going to make good tea snacks, too. Next? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's a good thing to add is that most of these, honestly, have been, like, engineered. They Most of them go well with tea. You may have to, like, you know, pick and choose what, what you pair with what, but... Wow. Yeah. I like it. You it's know, a good blend. It reminds snack. me of like a, like um, even though you could probably, you know, this wasn't, this isn't fancy, fancy chocolate. This reminds me of like, um, what's the place? Gertrude Hawk, kind of. Like it reminds me of like what, something you get in yeah. your Christmas stocking. That's like one of those like special cookie yeah. candy things they release around the holidays for stocking stuffers. It's like a lollipop, but just a stick. Yeah, it's really good. These would be super. Th these specifically would be stellar with tea. Mm -hmm. These would go really, really well with tea. Mm. I wonder if you're supposed to bite them or just like suck on them like a lollipop, and they become the cookie stick. Do they tell you? And or you dip it into your tea. I think you dip it. That would be my idea. Let's crack open the um these I, the chocolate banana ones I've never seen before, so they spoke to me. They so don't these aren't they don't open the same way, huh? No, these are um you can tell from the packaging that like this one's a little f like fancier. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it'll mean anything. I don't know if it'll mean anything in, for flavor, but Ooh, banana cream. Yeah, I'm a I love banana, but I I don't know. It depends on the banana flavoring, so. <laughs> well, okay. It smells a lot like the super fake banana. Oh. But. It smells like it's going to be good. Is it mm. like a banana Tootsie Roll? So I was expecting it to taste like, um, like super, super, super fake banana. Like, um, I mean, it is that kind of banana flavoring, but I was expecting the flavor to be more fake banana-y. Mm -hmm. Kind of. I get a little more banana chip, like a dehydrated, sweetened, mm -hmm. like banana chip. Wow, yeah, it's starting to really open up. Definitely, I don't. I'm not getting a ton of the chocolate. No, a little lacking on the chocolate. It's good. It's just I was expecting more. I would more so call it like a like a banana cream pocky. Mm -hmm. These are nice. Little, yeah, it is. It's like a cookie stick. Yeah. Like think about it like a pretzel stick, but just made of made of like cookie dough. I like these. These are really mm -hmm. snackable. Like these are like again a good thing for tea because you can just sort of sit there and mm -hmm. snack away at them. Which yeah. one? Go ahead. Do which one? I mean. I guess I agree that the almond one is a little fancier because it's got the chocolate and it's got like the little almond pieces but well these ones are interesting because at first you're like oh okay and then the flavor starts to open up and then now i'm really excited about the second one no i know that's how i was too i was like because i'm picky about banana flavoring but even if they use that flavoring i don't like but they've incorporated it in a in a better way Oh, it seems we have a visitor who's taking the lights yeah. with him. That's our lighting, our lighting <coughs> being. Our lighting guy. Yeah. <laughs> our set designer. Yeah, I would say I like the almond ones a little more, but I think it's just because I really like chocolate. 
These are nice, though. I'm a sucker for like chocolate almond, mm-hmm. like that combination. I love that combination. These, so these are really nice because I haven't ever had them or like that flavor blend. Really, I like it. I do. Again, I'm I'm picky. Like I hate mm-hmm. uh, banana runts. Like it's just that fake banana is went mm-hmm. too strong and perfumey. I count me out. But I'm a fan. These are really good. Definitely. Ten out of ten to have these again. These are something, dude. You shouldn't feel shy going into these. Right. Like I. I don't think you have to fear trying Pocky. So next time you see them, if they sounded good, I would yeah. I would suggest picking them up. Give them a bite. Okie dokie. Now we're going to tap into one of these drinks. And if we're going to tap into one, we got to tap into this uh, oolong. Again, it's so weird. Cassandra's the one who we saw these in a, in a, in a funny enough, in a smoke shop. And um, Cassandra, at first we got another one that was Osmanthus yep. Pepsi. So I tried another one. I tried the Osmanthus Pepsi. Wasn't what I was expecting. Surprisingly pleasant. Mm-hmm. I'm not a huge Pepsi person to begin with, but Same. it was actually pretty pleasant. And so then Cassandra, she saw this one. She just figured it was just white peach because it's got white peaches on it. Mm-hmm. She Googled it and it comes up. Nope, it's it's oolong, peach oolong Pepsi. So whatever white peach oolong. this is uh this is imported from taiwan the one yeah this is a lot like the osmanthus one they aren't super bubbly i don't know if it's how they were imported or what but there's not really a lot of bubble right i don't know maybe they sat i don't know or but they might not add as much in, uh, that, cause like, that's what cassandra they, said when we were when we were trying the osmanthus one but cheers yeah so wealth and health and abundance and happiness. Hey. Oh, wow. It smells really good, though. The peach comes off strong. Oh, wow. Was not expecting it to smell so good. I get the Pepsi. I get the peach. Okay. Well, I definitely <laughs> like this more than... Oh, this tastes... This cola. tastes a thousand times... This tastes a thousand times better than a normal Pepsi. Yeah, it's all in... Uh, I'll have to get it maybe translated or who knows maybe i can find the ingredient i would love to like i'm sure that the oolong is not like they're not like oh this is oolong from ali sean <laughs> like, oh, right, I, right. I highly doubt that but i am sort of like <laughs> i am sort of curious i am sort what, of curious what, as to what, what um was it a, i mean suppliers so you know that so take a guess farms too. do you think the oolong that's in this that is supposedly in here would it be roasted or would it be green? I think it's probably a green oolong. But I I don't I think because of the Pepsi flavor it could go well with either. So it's really And that it's this was a bold choice for flavoring on Pepsi's part because it's <laughs> Pepsi is a strong flavor. It's, yeah, it's it very is. overpowering. But you can tell that still in this, they don't use the same amount of like Pepsi flavor that no, they do in a American Pepsi. Like, definitely. they probably don't use as much carbonation. It's more either. balanced. No, and you know what? It's not that it's flat. Take a look at how the mm-hmm. bubbles have have accumulated in the yeah. glass. I didn't yeah. see that when Cassandra and I were like drinking it just out of the bottle. Thank you. But yeah, you can. Yeah. It, it is still carbonated for sure. It's just not, it's not ultra, like, like, it's not that Pepsi pop. But, mmm, yeah, this is pretty, uh, this is pretty nice. I like it. I just wish, I feel fancy, that white peach. The, yeah, the peach flavor is, that is, you can give them. If, it carries well. Though, it's so everything. good. It's it's not your typical like Dunkin' Donuts peach flavoring. Mm-hmm. Like it's yeah. it genuine genuinely tastes like peaches. No, this is good. Um, I would one hundred and ten percent have this again. Um, we'll yeah. actually. Uh, it goes well with snacks. Yeah. Definitely. Well. On, in light of that, I don't know. Let's. I, I think even if you're not a tea person, you would like this Pepsi. Yeah, it's. It, it's, it's just it's like a, if you don't want water, if you don't want like juice, if you're not an alcohol drinker, and you're at the store trying to look for something different. Yeah. Holy crap! If you guys see this, 
mean, it, it's not easy to find. Trust it could, me. It We're, could actually probably be a really good mixer for alcohol, though. Yeah, if you <laughs> pair it in the right amounts, too, this could be very tasty. Um, why don't they, if nothing else, why don't they do peach? So, I don't understand why they why they do what they do. Um, we'll you know, we'll just uh, we'll actually we'll tap into the yam yam, and then we'll have a little bit more, a uh, little bit more of the soda. Yeah, that sounds great. Because we were actually talking when we were like, "Oh, what should we do next?" We were like, "Well, the more cookie stuff Paribas. would go good with the Pepsi, and then like the the, the fruity Fruitier things things would obviously go well with the watermelon." And I was like, oh, "Okay, so let's do it like that then." So this one, I saw on the internet. It's called, uh, here's yours. It's called Yam Yan Yan. I'm sorry. I was you saying. Can you top you off? Yes, please. I was saying Yan Yam Yam. It's Yan Yan. So I'm an idiot. Yan Yan. Which isn't a surprise <laughs> I, I, to a lot of people. I couldn't tell if you said it wrong or correct. Um, so I was just like, I'll let him just keep going. Basically, it's, everybody says it's, a, it's like an Asian Dunkaroos. So you get the same idea. You get a cookie stick. And then somewhere in here, I guess, there is, uh, Excuse me. Strawberry carbon, cream. Carbonation. Tip me. <laughs> um, yeah, so like these are I guess really popular. So we fun break, animal these open. fun yeah, fun animal games on each stick. What? Oh, okay. Games on the st- there's a lot of sticks. Oh, look at that. It is just like Dunkaroo. Mhm. So, look at that. I got I feel inclined to look the top. Oh, you got it. it. If nothing else, to test the icing. Mm. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, you get, like, these cookie sticks, and then the icing goes down to, like, here, like, so that you, it's not, like, the whole way down. So, what are these games? I'm disappointed about that. What is this? So, what is a night predator? Is that what it says? Yeah, what is a night predator? No, what the fuck? An owl. Mine is. Mine says Night Predator, then Owl. So I'm like, I'm assuming that's how you play the game. <laughs> okay, so explain in the game again to me. So. I mean, I see a what, correlation what's between your, what's. What's yours? Okay. It's rabbit and eat more carrots. So you would say, eat more carrots. And I'd say, oh, rabbit. But why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it's, it's, um,. What's that game? So mine is wool sweaters. We'll make Sheep? Some, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Here, you won my yen yen, sir. Oh. <laughs> These are good. Yum. Yeah. Did you try it with the Pepsi yet? Mm-mm. I tried the frosting with the Pepsi. I like the frosting, good. too. It's not obnoxious. Ooh, it goes really well. That peach and the strawberry. Mmm. Mm, that is good. I like these. these. These are fun. I like how they have little games on them. Like, I love that, man. I love that they put so much thought in the stuff like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the inner the inner kid in me is like, yeah. Longest you know. nose. Wow. Uh, kiwi? Elephant. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I... Dude, this is a good game. Dude, kids, this is a hard game. I actually feel like... Oh, no. The, the oh, no! Eight... <laughs> oh. It was bound to happen. The eight-year-old in me would have got that one right. Yeah, maybe it's one of those things where you do better having a kid brain. Mm-hmm. I could eat these like all day long. Mm-hmm. They're really fun. Man, this one's a hard one. Slow mail. And it's snail. Oh, oh my god, that's funny. Slow. These are like Jeopardy questions. <laughs> <laughs> it is, what is slow mail? Oh, I could eat these. I'm, I could eat these all day. And they have different flavors, too. Mm-hmm. This is the one I grabbed, but they have... um. I had the chocolate one. Oh, you've, you've had these before. Yeah, but Not just the... one time, it was so long ago, and it was really... I was just hungry and mowed them down. 
It's really good. Good snack. Mm. Yeah, these are these are A plus, especially if, like. And honestly, the amount of sticks you get. It's really good. That's a decent, like, for this tiny little thing. Like, this is actually a decent sized snack. Yeah, I feel like if my mom packed this in my lunch when I was a kid, I'd be saying, "Yeah, mom, this is awesome." Be like, my mom gets me yam yam. <laughs> yan yan, yan yan. Um, why did the video stop? Hmm. Sorry about that, guys. A little technical difficulty, but um. Yam Yam's amazing. Uh, the co this Pepsi is really really good. Um, we're gonna do the we'll do the Kit Kats now, so we'll finish up like all the kind of like chocolatey stuff. So these are milk tea Kit Kat, but they're not Taiwanese milk tea Kit Kat. They're not like uh, like a boba milk tea. It's a um, it's supposed to be like an English. Yeah. Like an English milk like tea. Breakfast tea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like tea, afternoon tea time type deal. Oh, it's white chocolate. I got two left ones. <laughs> well, I got a right one and a left one. Oh, God, this is nice. Yeah, cute little. Give me a break. Little gram. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like a str it takes a minute for the flavor to really release. We've been drink we've been eating a lot of sugar too, mm. which dampens down your taste yeah. buds. So as we go on, it's going to get harder and harder. Like it'll just get fruity at some point. Mm -hmm. But so I can taste like it's like a really strong brew to some black tea with like literal splash of whole milk. Like creamer, yeah, yeah. Like, no oh, sugar. No. Like, it literally does taste like an astringent black tea, strong brewed tea, just a splash of milk, which is what afternoon mm -hmm. tea kind of is. They actually, they kind of nailed the flavor. Like, of the experience of, of sipping a, a, a cup of English tea with milk mm. in it. Like, you have to pinky out this then. Oh, mmm. Very good. Very mm -hmm. good. We're classy. Now, <laughs> there are, are a lot of these Kit Kats, and every year they make new ones. They have all these specialty flavors. They're really hard to find. They're very expensive to import, um, but some of them are phenomenal. I have had oolong ones that were, I'm telling you, they were roasted oolong. They were amazing. Tasted tasted so oolongy. Like, mm -hmm. it just was it was amazing. I've had the matcha ones are very are you can find a lot of places. Mm -hmm. Like most Asian grocery stores have the matcha Kit Kat. No, do they have a green tea one as well? Yes. Okay, I have that one. I have not been able to find I want that because matcha flavors, I mean I'm okay with, but when it mixes into chocolate, I'm just sort of like, "Nah. I would love a green tea flavor. They're really good." <laughs> well, well, the place we'll that we got them. these, they do have a couple I'll have to look a little further because their green tea ones didn't kind of look like the normal matcha ones. So maybe I'll read further next right. time. But yeah, they've do they do um, they've done Sakura ones. They've mm -hmm. done they've do yeah, all these different flavors. Rose. I haven't had those. Anytime I have a an opportunity to try these import Kit Kats, though, I do. Like these they're are fun. these are so fun and they're really fun to gift too. Yeah, just yeah, it's a unique little. They're good to share. <clears throat> so party swag. Yeah, man. That is, um, I guess that, that does it for the, the like, the cookie, cookie and side of things. Cookie chocolate bar so, portion. It was good, though. So we're going to, uh, we'll reset. And, um, yeah. And now, on the fruitier side of things, <laughs> we're going to tap into the, we'll, 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 we'll have this be the after dinner special like, that tr it is. Traditionally. <laughs> so this is high chew. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so again, this is supposed to be like a chewy, chewy fruit taffy -y kind of thing. This is watermelon. All right, I believe I've had that flavor. Open here. I've seen these. These That's are another thing I think you can get. 
Haichu, I think, is pretty I, easily. I see them I know a you lot can, more. It's another thing. I, used to. I know you can get them at Walmart. Got um, Gracias. So these are another thing that if you don't have like a big Asian market near you, probably your local Walmart will probably have these. Look at it. They're like they're these little like gold bars of Haichu. fruit taffy. They're wrapped. They could be the currency of tomorrow. <laughs> Just saying. They got like a little innard. Yeah. It's a little like. One thing. They smell very fruity. You get the flavor pretty fast. Mmm. Are they watermelon or watermelon kiwi? Watermelon. Okay. Yep. Mmm. It's sweet and sour. Oh, I probably what that middle is. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, it's taffy. They're really good. It's it literally is just like um, like a salt it's water just taffy, like a starburst, but closer to starburst. Yeah, I like them better though. What do you think? I really like these. Um, I should have grabbed because I said in the beginning. They're like Starburst, but better. What you I, said, they're like. I do like them. Um, they they did have like variety packs mm. that I was like, oh, maybe I should grab that. But then I was like, oh, I don't know if I'll like them. So right. we'll just try them These as they good, come. Though. So, ooh, I'm gonna do one more of these. Mm -hmm. Salt um, water taffy fix. They remind me of, but sweeter. They have a lot of flavors too. There's a lot to choose from when I pick this one. They're not obnoxiously, um, <laughs> just like most Asian things, even their sweets aren't like overly, overly sweet. Mm -hmm. mm. Looking at the sugar. Yeah, I'm trying to see them. Amount per serving, but um, thirteen grams. Oh, that's total sugars. Is it total whole package? One package serving size. Okay, that's pretty good. So if one whole package is forty-one carbs, yeah, that's actually not bad. Because no, I mean, I you probably shouldn't put away a whole package in one sitting anyway. I think usually like one and a half sitting. I I, fi I finished one of those before. I'm not gonna shy away from these. Like I'm gonna grab these next time. I mean, mm -hmm. these are those really are good, and I love fruit. I love fruity mm -hmm. things. Okay. All right, so we'll now move we're on chasing to chasing it with a watermelon up. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna chase it with some watermelon up. Mm -hmm. So, sparkling watermelon up, the most ideal taste ever. <laughs> Unleash the watermelon. Oh no! Nice. This is all. This is all just fun wording. What's on here? Uh, but, but, no, it's but. the truth. <laughs> I, do li I do like the design of their. It's a watermelon. It's really can. fun. Yeah, every oh, Asian stuff is way more fun. They have way more fun with with stuff like this, packaging and mm -hmm. um, so sparkling watermelon. Best before. Blah 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 blah. Who cares? Fructose syrup, dun dun dun. Watermelon extract, carbon dioxide, obviously. Flavoring. Okay, so this isn't watermelon juice, but it's a watermelon drink. So you think it's a soda? Or yeah, probably. Water? Yes. No, I think it's a soda. Watermelon soda, potentially. Oh, it looks fancy! Wow, we're classy. Oh my gosh. We fancy. Yeah, we are. Oh. This looks good. Oh, cheers to this. Mm -hmm. Fun, creativity. Yeah, man. And blessings Pot to everybody. Yeah, man. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Okay. Oh, dang. I'm a suck. Obviously, I'm a sucker for watermelon flavoring. Mm -hmm. I didn't even realize that these were both. Mm -hmm. That's how much I like watermelon. I subconsciously pick it. Dude, this is really good. It's a soda, basically. 
It's a nice soda. It's funny because you and I, neither of us are soda people. <laughs> but, like, but we were talking before this is that like, because neither of us, like, like he drinks alcohol sometimes, but like, I don't really drink alcohol at all. So it's like, but every now and then I want to, f- I want a nice drink out of, even not even out of a wine glass, but like you mm-hmm. want something other than water yeah, or other than water, soda, and, or like regular grocery store soda. So when I see like craft, mm-hmm. like carbonated drinks, I really do get excited because that's my, this is my special drink in this particularly i'm gonna 100 percent off of one sip i'll tell you i'll buy this again yeah look at date night you go on a date and you pour that soda in these glasses you look fancy in this day and age i'd have it's to just fun. again i like listen i've been out of the dating pool for quite some time right. but i'm just well, saying with your wife though this would be just be a fun trip. right it's i'm saying fun. if you like oh, okay let's do dinner wife or girlfriend whatever boyfriend blah, blah blah say you sit down and it's you know you sit down to dinner and you know you, there's the glasses are out and then you come over you crack one of these open you fill it up that color how interesting is that going to be like it's so much more interesting than getting just some stupid like sam adams specialty yeah. like this is and it's I, I'm, i'll say it a million times Gracias. for for asian cra- food is that they even things that are really sweet aren't as sweet as are really sweet, like mm-hmm. and getting more into you know, like eating like it's like because I've been eating healthier, Asian baked goods and so stuff for a while now. It's not like it's never like healthy for you. It's never like good for you. I'm sure that that's got maybe as much sugar. I don't think it does though. It doesn't feel like it. Like yeah, your it palate doesn't, doesn't have like that it. heavy c- coated yeah. type feeling from it. No, it's this is like Cassandra. Really, there's a. I think there was a mango one too. Oh, okay. But this is phenomenal. This yeah, is it's like very crust. It really is like. Um, it's funny because they both have the watermelon flavor, but they kind of pop in different ways. Yeah, definitely very different flavorings they chose. But this is like I've had watermelon sodas, and they taste like syrup. Like you know what I mean? Like it actually tastes like just sugar syrup. Like this just tastes like a nice bubbling drink. Yeah, it's not. It's definitely not sparkling water. Like no. it definitely has no, way more sugar. T- than yeah, that. you can tell it's like a sweet watermelon. It's it's a very sweet watermelon. It doesn't taste fresh like that watermelon, you know. But it it hit it does what it says. This is really good. If you um, want a watermelon up. So yeah, it, I don't think there's really like a well. There is a brand. It's F S F C Bio. Okay. Which is smart farming creator. Oh, that's cool. Cool. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is ten out of ten. I'll definitely be yeah, buying this again. Really I'll suggest this to anybody who can find this. Yeah. Sparkling watermelon, watermelon up. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. So we've come to the end of our little food fest journey. Um, we figured we would end with these because, again, like, there's a lot of – I've gone to a lot of, like, Chinese Asian food restaurants, and they have these waiting for you uh, when you check out. Or sometimes they'll give them to you like a mint, like with your mm-hmm. with your bill, they'll give them to you. Um, so I don't know how easy this these are to find. Um, I mean, I can – we have a couple good Asian grocery stores yeah, around here. Sure. So I, I was confident I'd be able to find them. But they, they're cute. They're just these tiny little, they're very, they're like, that's, they look like those wrapped up after dinner mints. Like they, yeah. they, they even look like it. Um, but I'll tell you, they are, they're so good. They, they if, if, even like, I'm not a huge guava person, but this candy, it's just so sweet. I'm so fruity, mm. and it's unlike. I'm do two because I forgot to show them too. It's not the so. same. Oh yeah, thank you. It's um, mm. it's just fantastic. I'm telling you, I love getting into. Every time I go to the Asian market, most times I'll try something new, and I started doing that years ago with my wife. Mm-hmm. And so we've been doing that little experimentation stuff for years now. And it's I think it's really neat to look back and realize how many – now how much I know 
Like when I go to the a- our Asian food market now, or uh, I can walk through. I know what a lot of that stuff is. Nice. I know brands that I like. I know. And it's something that I think, especially if you have never tried it before, you've never stepped foot in an Asian food market, it can be like ultra overwhelming. Mm -hmm. It can be confusing. Not everything is labeled, you know, Western friendly always. It's definitely a different experience. So it's it's very, I I can get how it can be really like overwhelming Mm -hmm. and how you like a lot of people, I think that's what happens is they step in with their curiosity but they feel so overwhelmed and out of place that they're like, oh, yeah, maybe oh, nice, to, cool to it, see. But it can definitely feel a little over- overwhelming just because you, you're not you're not used to that supermarket layout that we, we grew up with, I guess, uh, in at least in New England. So that's something that I really for the podcast, I want to do more of. And I think you being somebody who's so culinary driven. Oh, yeah. I think you're that's the right true. person to do this with. And that's why I went I, I knew I wanted to do this. Hands down, you were the person I wanted to chase all these foods with. Yeah, you're my friend, but you're also you know you're a cook. Mm-hmm. You 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 know flavors. I'm you, an artist, <laughs> and so you know it's it'll be fun to share our knowledge of this stuff with people, so that they can then feel more confident when they go into an Asian grocery store. And they'll see things. They'll see this package, and they'll go, "Oh, I saw that yeah, on right. I saw I saw that on tea and stuff. But that's the same package. He likes that, so I'll grab that. Definitely worth a try. I think these are fun gifts too, because you got this big package if you don't like them. But used to tasting the mint or the chocolate usually, but this is such a fun. You know, it's different, and it just kind of gives you that. That satisfying, like, sugar taste at the end of the meal. Fun's a really, really good way to put it. Mm-hmm. Like, fun's a really... Exactly. Like, eating this candy is fun. And going to an Asian supermarket is fun, especially if you know, like, Dude. there's a couple things you want, and then there's a couple cool things to try. There's a lot of cool stuff to try. And and there is, at most, like, even... Like, some of them don't have a lot of English on them, but... They they knowingly when they do their packaging, like it mm-hmm. says guava candy. Mm-hmm. Like they they I do think they if you do sit and you sort of read over the packaging, even if sometimes it's just the ingredients, mm-hmm. yeah, it gives you an idea of what's in it. And we'll have to do some more different candies and stuff. Though. More candies. There's also so our Asian uh, gross our it's called the Asia Asia food market. Yep. They uh, they actually have a bakery that operates out of there, so and they make some very very authentic Asian baked goods, and they do them really some good stuff from all the cities I've been to, and they make them really well. So like they do a what's called a pineapple bun, which doesn't have pineapple in it. It's actually for this crust that goes on top that mm-hmm. looks kind of like pineapple, and they fill it with this um, uh, coconut like filling and it's just it is unbelievably good and it's all stuff that like again if you have no idea what it is you've never had it before you've never really talked to anyone that's had it it can be kind of intimidating to go into but that's the hope is that uh, as along with familiarizing people with tea Mm -hmm. i I hope to that's one more hope of mine is i want to find more ways to to show people stuff like this so that you can go out and experiment for yourself for sure and um these are not as as sour like they're not overbearing sour they're you they're that slight pucker because sometimes guava can be mm-hmm. kind of ta- overly tangy mm-hmm. this is nice and enjoyable yeah so very nice so yeah man we'll have to tackle yeah. it next and eventually man i would like to be fun if we even started doing Asian meals. We could yeah. even we could do like dumpling tastings. Of course, yeah. Any anything. So it's always fun. I want to thank you again for joining. Yeah, and uh, thank you, thankful for your listeners. Yeah, thank you awesome. guys very awesome very much. People. Um, if you like content like this, give the thumbs up. Do the subscription. You know what I mean. Let me know that we're that what I'm doing you like, and we can do more of it. 
um, we're going to, we, I mean, we're going to do more of it anyway, but if you help give me an indicator of what to do, it's a little better for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys a ton. Um, hopefully if you guys have any questions, just feel free to reach out. Um, and if, if I can't get you a, the exact answer myself, I'll find somebody for you. So here for your beckoning guys. So cheers. Um, awesome. I'll give you a, a little bit more to do nice. me a little, little toaster runes, right. but here is do uh, you know, 2022, I think yeah. you and I have a lot of exciting things to look forward oh, yeah. to this year. Definitely. So, Cheers, guys. <laughs> Here's to another good one.